is how I'm storing my stickers right now in these two baskets, which is a confusing mess. But I went to a thrifty store a couple weeks ago and I found a postcard album that was full of postcards for a dollar. Now these were the postcards that were in this album. Look at them all. I believe they're all from Norway. This one is called, what's it say, uh, Norwegian Rose Painting. That looks pretty old. It's discolored on the back. Could there be a date printed in Norway? No. Oh. Pretty cool, right? And this one, that one's pretty cool. This is Herd of Goats at the Out Farm, Norway. And I thought this one was really cool. This is a, a carved display from, is that pronounced Osberg? Very cool, right? Okay, then there's a, this uh, looks like a Viking ship. Is it a Viking ship? Oslo, Norway, the Viking Ships Museum. That's like so cool. And then there's, uh, you know, what is this one? It says something. I don't know what it says on the bottom. Yeah, I don't know. But I mean, there's just beautiful, beautiful, okay, just beautiful um, scenery. Beautiful. The information on these guys is on the screen. Wow, 1947. So many, many, many postcards. Just beautiful. Not sure what I'm doing with these. Here's the album. Let's fill her up. Okay, so this is the plan. What? Well, first of all, the plan is don't buy any more stickers. All right. <laughs> all right, so the plan is to cut the sheets without removing the stickers. Just cut Cut the stickers. They came. These ones came in this package here from Dollar Tree, here in Canada. And so all I did was I left them on the backing and I just cut them so that I can fit them into these pockets. And then I can still reach them is what I'm really saying. I can still reach in there and pull them out. These are side opening pockets. I thought of opening the tops of them maybe and glue in this plastic down. I don't know if it would hold. But um, anyway, so I'm doing the, uh, this for now. I thought, well, this is a pretty good idea. I can just reach in there and pull them out. Okay, so the idea is to put all the yellow and orange in. And I've pulled out all my yellow and orange, I believe. I have these. And I still I have some of these. And, you know, I still got these are the same... <laughs> And then these are the same, and then there's something else shoved in here, too. I guess I forgot. I usually buy them in packs, of, like, two, two packs at a time. And so I, I guess I bought four, not realizing I already had two. Anyway, so then there's these I've never used, but they're so cute, right? And this is, uh, oh, this is actually from Dollarama. How do you like them apples or those flowers? They're really nice. So um, these ones here... Let me show you this package. These ones here have different colors. So I want to just get the yellow ones out of here. And uh, that means I'd have to cut them individually. So then what I did was, can you see down there? Yeah. Um, what I did was I just cut them individually and then I just taped them on the back so they're all together. Because if one is in here, way back in here, I won't be able to reach it. So now I just will be able to reach in there even if they're right to the end and I can still reach them and pull them out and use the ones that I want. So I'm going to do that with these as well. Do I have any more? No. That's it. So that is the process and uh, so like I said, I, I think I said I pulled out all my yellow and orange ones so they'll go probably in here if um, cause I still have this and that flips over still have 
all this and then I like a whole book or album. So I thought, well, you know, I'll just pull them out by color and um, place them on the pages. Maybe I'll leave, maybe I'll leave the back of this if I happen to come across more yellow or orange in my stash that's not in the place where these other ones were. So I'll leave these blank. And then, so for the purple and pink, I'm just going to put purple and pink in the same slots and, um, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> okay, so I got to get this, these yellow ones out of here. So then I'll just cut, cut around them. So I thought that was a good idea because then this is just going to be a book and it's going to be so much easier to go through when I do paper crafting. Like normally, if like if you're just watching this, I'm actually a crocheter. I do tutorials, <laughs> crochet tutorials. So I'm sorry if there's a glare. So let's see, I have these three, and I have that one, four, are there any more? Put that aside. I think that's all the yellow ones. So I'm just going to take my tape and just, um, just tape them together by the you know, plastic that they're stuck onto. And, uh, yeah, just shove them in these little pockets. This is going to be so much easier and faster. And especially, too, having the colors together. You know, if I think, oh, I want an orange flower, which are right here. I'll put, well, it's a white flower with orange in the middle. But if I want an orange flower, a yellow flower, this is going to be so much easier to find. I had I had separated all the colors in my um, those baskets I had, but, you know, some of these things come with many colors. And it's like, there's a red one there, there's white, there was yellow on here. So I end up putting them with the with all the pinks and purples and then I kind of forgot that I had yellow on these sheets as well. So now I'm just going to have the proper colors together and that's all I'm doing and um, I'm going to show you the end result. Looking better. I'm getting there. Now I stuffed the pockets too much. I have to realize there was flat postcards that were in here, one in each pocket. <laughs> and so I ended up taking everything out right here, right here. And then I'm going to just put a little bit in each pouch, a little bit less than I've been putting in there. So that's what I'm doing right now. So this is it. Here are the stickers. So I had put too many in the pocket, so I had to kind of separate them and because it was getting too bulky. But that's that page, that page, and then that folds in, and then next page folds out. So I have everything uh, coordinated by color. This is all I have in blue. Blue stuff for flowers. Now, don't send me any. Please don't send me any. <laughs> I don't want any more stickers. So the ones that I have the most of are pink. Yeah, so it opens up. 
And then we're going into purple here. A lot of these I get from Dollar Tree or Dollarama. I don't think there's anything here from online. No, I think the ones I got from Timu are on my table. And these are Dollar Tree. These are really, really pretty, but I, I haven't really used hardly any of them. Okay, so let me go over here. And I love these. I got these at Dollar Tree. I haven't even used them. You know, you could use make a small journal and use this as the spine. Just, you know, glue it down really good. Then I have all these keys that I bought. <laughs> Perfume bottles. <laughs> kind of cute, right? Okay. And then the butterflies. Butterflies. Yes, I have blue butterflies too. To maybe go with those couple of blue flowers, maybe. Or maybe it would be too much blue. And of course I have owls. And yeah. And that is it. There's still some pages left. So it's pretty big gator mouse, as they call it, right? But uh, <laughs> this is way better than those two baskets just full. You know, this is going to take up a lot less room. I can put a thing of yarn around it and tie it if I want to, you know, flatten it out a little bit. Very happy with how it turned out. The stickers are not only well organized, but they are also easily accessible. And this is a great space saver. Look at that. It fits in the cupboard perfectly. Thanks, everyone.